Puppet Steve here. Today, we've got some really cool news concerning some Sonic the Hedgehog movie cereal. What? Yep, you heard right, kids. This fall, we're gonna be getting Sonic the Hedgehog cereal, and it's gonna be based off the really cool Funko version of Sonic. Because over the weekend, well, this awesome picture of Sonic the Hedgehog cereal leaked onto the internet. Oh man, this looks awesome. Now, when it comes to Funko and Sonic the Hedgehog, boy, I just love these figures. I mean, the figures look great because they did a good job on Sonic and Shadow, and they also make really cool cereal too because we've already gotten cereal based on Mugman and Freddy Fazbear and Mega Man. So of course it only makes sense for them to make Sonic the Hedgehog as well. All right, I just can't wait to put that cereal next to the other cool cereals that we've gotten based on really cool video games. And of course the best part about it is that we get uh, little mini figures inside, which uh, are little mini <laughs> uh, pop figures. All right, so that means when we get our Sonic cereal, we're gonna be getting a minifigure as well. Because if we look at this leaked photo here, well, we see it down at the bottom. Yep, we get a little minifigure of Sonic, which is included in this really cool box. But man, I just love this box. Let's see, we've got the Funko logo up here, Sonic the Hedgehog. In the background, we get that famous checkered pattern that uh, is known in the Sonic the Hedgehog games. We got Sonic right there with the uh, spoon in his hand. Oh yeah, that's cool. And uh, ooh, look at this. I guess it's supposed to be a GameStop exclusive. Yeah, that makes sense. And the cereal is blue, just like Sonic. And uh, I guess they could have gone anyway. I mean, we all know that Sonic the Hedgehog has those yellow rings, so they also could have made this uh, yellow if they wanted, but yeah, I guess they went with the blue color because, well, that's the color of Sonic. And of course, the side box art looks really cool here too. We've got the logo up there, and Sonic jumping out of the, uh, the ring, that looks cool. And of course, this is supposed to come out this fall, and that was the original release date for the uh, movie. So they're probably gonna tie this in with the movie, which makes this Sonic the Hedgehog movie serial. Mm, interesting, gotta love that. Okay, so since this is a GameStop exclusive, let's go over to the GameStop website and type in Sonic Serial and see what happens. Cause I'm curious if it's in their system yet. And, oh, check it out. Oh, man, it popped up right away. And let's see here. It's going to be $7.99. That's going to be the uh, price right there. And I guess we could pre-order it already. And it comes out September 6th, 2019. Okay, so that's after the summer. Oh, man, that's when we'll all be in school again. Ah, poop. But uh, let's see. There are some product details. Let's click on this and <laughs> oh, nothing happens. All right, kids, well, there it is on the uh, GameStop website. Good old Sonic the Cereal from Funko Pop. All right, and you can pre-order it now if you want to do that. And I know I, of course, am going to pre-order it, so uh, I'm going to do that right now. And when it comes, I'm going to unbox this and show you what it's all about. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, kids, because in September, we're going to do just that. And it's kind of sad that the movie's not coming out for a while because it would have been really neat to have Sonic cereal just in time for the Sonic movie. Oh, well... I guess I'll just buy a couple boxes, so uh, I'll have enough for Valentine's Day of 2020 when the movie actually does come out. <laughs> All right, well, there it is, kids. Good old Sonic the Hedgehog cereal. Hey, kids, Pup Steve here, and today we've got some breaking news concerning the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Breaking news. Uh, yeah, that's why I said breaking news. <laughs> well, it looks like the movie has been delayed until next year. Oh, what? Yep, afraid so, guys. Because today, the director of the Sonic movie posted on his Twitter feed that the movie is going to be delayed until next year. And not just next year, but Valentine's Day of next year. Well, that's an odd decision. I'm not sure what's going to fall on Valentine's Day, but I'll just go with it. And this is probably a wise decision because, well, people weren't liking the movie trailer too much. Because the Sonic they showed in the movie trailer didn't look like this. He looked, uh, kind of weird. <laughs> yep, that's not the Sonic I want to see in the movie. I want to see this Sonic. Or this version of Sonic. Anything would be better than that. Oh, man. Now, I know that some fans are probably mad it's not going to come out in November. But they decided to push the movie back because, well, they're going to actually take this version of Sonic and change him so he looks more like this. And I, for one, can't be happier. Because I want a Sonic that looks true to the original. As does everyone else. Now, if you haven't been following the news of the Sonic movie like I have, well, I'm going to lay it all out here because, well, it's kind of entertaining. 
So a couple weeks ago, well, we did a video on the pictures that were released from the Sonic that was supposed to be in the Sonic movie. And from these pictures, I was like, okay, well, this Sonic doesn't look too bad. He looks kind of cool, I guess. I mean, you have to bring him into the real world, so you're going to have to make changes. But all kinds of people were all mad and posting all kinds of crazy comments like this. Now, the interesting thing about these pictures is that fans were about to give this one a pass because... Well, it's a picture. It's not an actual footage from the movie. So they thought, well, maybe the movie might be a little bit better. So let's just wait until the trailer comes out. So on April 30th, the director of the movie on his Twitter feed ended up posting an actual movie poster from the Sonic movie. And it looks pretty cool with him racing up the building and all the little drones following right behind him. Yep, it looks really cool. And when fans saw the picture, well, they agreed. They were like, okay, this is a Sonic that looks okay. But of course, all that changed a couple hours later when he posted the actual movie trailer that featured Sonic in the real world. Now, of course, with this movie trailer, boy, that's when everything started to change because people got so mad. <laughs> all right, so let's look at the trailer right now so we can see what's going on here. And everything was okay at the beginning. I mean, we got the fancy logo. Yeah, that looked cool. And then we saw the real world. Sonic zooms past a police car. And of course, that's what we come to know and love with Sonic, zooming past things. And it says, yep, he zoomed past it at 760 miles an hour. Ha <laughs> ha. Guy gets out of his car, finds a little Sonic hair that's going electric. Gotta like that. So far, so good, I think. And then even the Paramount logo had Sonic rings all around it. Oh, I love that. And of course, we see Sonic zooming through the forest. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We see him coming down in his little ball form. That's pretty neat. And then, of course, he walks past the camera. And we see his hands. Ugh. Okay, well, that's where things get kind of weird. <laughs> oh, man, what are those? Well, those are some weird-looking hands. He's supposed to have gloves on his hands like this, not uh, these stubby little weird little things. He looks all alien-like. And then, of course, we get to this part of the trailer where we see the behind of Sonic. And we're like, oh, man, what's he going to look like? He looks kind of weird in his legs. And then, oh, man, what is that? <laughs> what is with that face? Ugh, that's not the Sonic we know and love. Talk about a weird looking face. Of course, if we freeze frame right here, we see that this version of Sonic doesn't look too bad. But then again, we're not really seeing too much of his body. But the one part of this movie I do like is this part right here where he zooms off and boom, creates a Sonic boom. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that. But interestingly enough, in the next scene, we finally get our first look at Dr. Robotnik or Eggman, played by Jim Carrey in the movie. And well, I gotta say he looks pretty cool looking. Okay, so in this next part, well, we see this guy busting in on Sonic, and, uh, <laughs> oh, man, again, that face is, like, weird looking. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. Then the next scene, we get some more shots of Sonic in the truck, and he doesn't look too bad there. But we see him jumping out and doing his really cool spinball attack, which looks great. I love that. And, of course, we see him zooming all around like that. We know this part of the movie is going to be really good. But it's just those close-ups of his face and stuff. It's like, oh, man, what are they thinking? <laughs> oh, man, a lot of people thought the same thing, too. But it looks like Dr. Robotnik's going to have all kinds of robots in this movie. And he's going to keep going after Sonic in all kinds of crazy ways. And later in the trailer, we see that the rings actually serve a purpose, too. Well, that's kind of cool. But again, everything's coming back to that face. Now, later in the trailer, we see this part right here, which uh, well, I guess he's got powers equal to the Flash, where he can move faster than time itself. And you know what? I do kind of like his voice, too. Look at this. I took nine million steps today. So I guess everything's good except that uh, <laughs> the look of his face. Because even at the very end of the trailer, we see Dr. Robotnik in his final form, which we all know and love. Oh, yeah, the big old mustache and the welder's goggles. Oh, yeah, now that's a Dr. Robotnik I want. Because, well, he looks just like the one from the video game. Now, after this trailer went viral online, and boy, did it go viral. Right now, it's got 30 million views. And of course, <laughs> ah, there are more dislikes on it than likes. Oh, man. That's how you know you got a stinker on you. <laughs> so anyway, I ended up going on Twitter. And you know what? I don't think I could find one positive comment about this movie. Oh, jeez. So interestingly enough, after two days of receiving nothing but criticism, the director of the movie came out again and said... Thank you for your support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. 
Oh yes! And that basically means that they're gonna go back into the movie and make him look more like Sonic. Well, like I said at the beginning of this video, the director came out today and finally said, hey, wait a minute, we need more time. So the movie's actually gonna come out next year on Valentine's Day. And you know what? I'm pretty fine with that because I want a Sonic that looks more true to the original. And the fans also agreed too because, well, instead of getting mean memes like this, we started to get really cool memes like this. Oh, this guy's so happy he wants to kiss him. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to this channel because next week, we've got some more bootleg movie toys coming at ya.